Welcome everyone. My name is Fist Truck. Some quick housekeeping. I'm currently recovering from coronavirus. So you think, hey, this guy's voice sounds fucked up. That's why. Moving on, I just want to talk about the length of this video real quick. Normally, I wouldn't care to talk about the length of the videos. I feel that my videos are as short or as long as they need to be. However, when talking about the subject of this video, there could be a lot of things that you can say about it. But after listening back to it when I did, realize that it's nothing new and really doesn't quite get my point across as effectively as what wound up making the cut. Now, with all that hippy dippy bullshit out of the way, once again, my name is Fist Truck, and today I'm appreciating LD. I would also appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. And also, if you would check out my second channel, Fist Truck TV. We just started a playthrough of a game called Gun. It's really fucking stupid and really fucking funny. So first, let's start with what brought this up. So recently I did a video called How to Katana in Elden Ring. So prior to doing that video, I took about a month off of the game. Then I did the recording for the video, did the builds, playing the game, all that kind of stuff. And by the end of it, I thought, hey, you know what? This game is uh, it's pretty fun. So what proceeded to happen afterwards was that I wound up playing the game like a motherfucker for like a couple of days, which to be honest, at this point where I feel like I'm at with the game, I thought that was behind me. You know, I'm about like 15, 16 playthroughs into the game. You know, some things feel like they would just lose their luster after some time, and to be fair, they do, but still, I just had a good time. Which brings me to appreciating Elden Ring. So, welcome to the video where I start speaking like a fart sniffer. No, I'm not gonna talk about how rich and deep the lore is, cause to be honest, uh, I could give a shit, and I feel like at this point I'm kind of jaded when it comes to the way these games tell their stories. Though that's just me. So what I'm going to talk about is how it feels to play this game in the current video game climate. And to explain what I mean by that, let's look back at when Elden Ring came out. Horizon Forbidden West came out back in February. It's a beautiful, well-written, engaging, fun, well-rounded experience. But all you would hear people talk about when it came out is that Aloy wouldn't shut the fuck up. I wonder if this comes from a lack of trust in the player to figure things out on their own, or a lack of confidence in the game designed to naturally guide the player to do so. God of War does this shit as well, and at this point I think it's just the thing that major AAA games do. Anywho, back on topic. Shortly after Horizon, Elden Ring came out, and did the complete opposite thing, which is nothing new for these kinds of games, but it nonetheless continues to be a breath of fresh air. The fact that now, more than ever, this game has so much content that it has zero issues with letting you miss, or icons on your map are not telling you where to go, they're showing where you've been. Finding pretty much anything is rewarding because nothing told you to find it, you did it on your own. Like a proper adult who wipes their own ass. Discovering different routes to the same place has always been a strong suit in these games, but Elden Ring just takes it to a whole new level, and that aha moment whenever you find something new, or discover a new place or path or anything, it just never gets old. This all really just brings me to, it just feels good to play this game. Does it have the deepest combat? Nope. Is it super innovative? Nope. It's open world Dark Souls, really. But you know what it is? Really fucking good. I think greater than the sum of its parts would best describe this, and unlike Skyrim, which you could also use that same phrase to describe it, it doesn't rely on a bunch of other people to fix a game for them. Everything in the game just comes together and it just hits so well. I find it frustrating because if I were to sit here and attempt to quantify it by describing gameplay, production values, or story, or whatever the fuck else, it wouldn't really get my point across. I've got like 500 hours on this game now, so trust me, I can point out the things in this game where it comes up short, because it definitely doesn't do everything perfectly. If I were to critically assess this game, it would be a neat little circle jerk that we could all definitely feel good over. But, there are countless other places we can get that from already, and I wouldn't be adding anything new to the conversation. Not to mention that the vast majority of the things that can be said about Elden Ring can also be easily applied to their previous releases, since Elden Ring is just FromSoft continuing to own and refine their craft. But this isn't a review, it's word vomit, and more importantly, it's a feeling. When I originally started writing the script for this video, I did the whole level design, combat, pacing thing, but then kind of tossed it to the side because I realized that, you know what? It's just a feeling. I like the feeling of forging my own path throughout the game. I like the feeling of making my own quirky builds and trying them out. I like the feeling of noticing something new on my 15th playthrough. I like the feeling of playing this game, and it feels good. Bunga bunga. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Talk about your experience with Elden Ring. If you like it, you hate it. Normally, I like to criticize things, but I figured we would just take some time to appreciate it because at the end of the day, I do like this. Anywho, don't forget to like, subscribe, or don't. 
And until next time, don't forget to always wipe before you shit.